Why are you in my office? I'm helping to enroll my son, Quinn. He looks like he's four. He's five. This is a high school. He's extremely gifted. You don't understand. He's got two of my pens in his mouth right now. I'm a walrus. Good gemacht. This is what you call gifted? Now wait, he can prove it to you. Well, make it quick. I want him out of my office. He smells like wet vibes and boogers. Ask him anything. Okay. What is the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. When was the toaster invented? 1893. What is 192 times 493? Mm, 94,656. Phil color me surprised. Karen is right for once. How do you think you'll let him in? Wait, you think that he can rattle off three correct answers and I'll let him in high school? This will have to go before the PTSA board. What is that? It's the Parent-Teacher-Student Association. It's kind of like the PTA, but worse because it has kids. This German lady, I think I might have swallowed one of your pen caps. Oh, don't cough. You really think that this child has what it takes to be in high school? Are you doubting my abilities as a mother? Nine, what I am rethinking my career decisions as a principal right now. You're wasting my time. Who do I have to talk to? And sure the gang? I'm wasting your time? You'll have to talk to Patricia Scheitels. Do not call her Scheitels. She gets very upset at that. She is the president of the PTSA. Did somebody say my name? <laughs> it's almost scary how you do that. I'm always right here when you want me. I don't think want is the right word. And who are you, little cutie? Baba, I don't like this lady. She has crazy eyes. No, I don't! This is Quinn. His mother claims he is a child prodigy. I am. Wait, what is all over your mouth? Chocolate. Where did you get that? I found it on the floor behind your desk. If this little snot goblin is a prodigy, then I'm a runway supermodel. Well, one of those is reality, and the other's a sad little pipe dream. You little sh... Believe it or not, he does seem to be quite smart. You can go ahead and test him. Okay, you little brat. How many bones does a shark have? You're trying to trick me. They don't have any. See? He's quite clever. His mother would like him to go to school here. Well, he's going to have to win over the entire BTSA board, and he's already made a bad impression with the president. Careful. Don't frown too much. You'll mess up your Botox. <laughs> Miss Karen, you stay here. I'm going to take Quinn to meet some of the PTSA board. And what should I do? You stay here, too. I've had enough of you for one day. Who's this little man? This is Quinn. He is a child prodigy. Or so his mother says. This kid is magic? Nine. Quinn. This is Thomas. He has the intelligence that you should have as a five-year-old. He is the treasurer of the PTSA board. You trust this guy with money? You watch your mouth, little man. I bring in a mean cash flow to this school. Yeah, we are a bit nervous about where he gets it from, though. Fundraisers. Did you just wink? <sighs> no. Thomas, I can still see your eyes. You are winking. No, I'm not. This job will consume the last of my sanity. Did you even have any to begin with? <clears throat> Let's take you to meet the rest of the board. Shall we? I don't want you to be nervous, but the rest of the board is just as unique as Thomas. Can I meet some of the student members? Yeah, if we run into them. Hopefully we won't. Principal Schreiber, there you are. I've got to ask you something. Wunderbar. Yo, Principal Schreiber, is that your son? Sima <laughs> Kenvolvitsa. Nine. I do not plan on having any crotch rockets of my own. This is Quinn. He is a child prodigy that we are considering admitting to our school. What's up, Quinn? I'm Gwen. Oh. Quinn, what's wrong? You're pretty. Oh, thanks, little guy. Pretty ugly. You know I ain't afraid to drop kick a kid, right? You're like what? Five six? I could take you. Wait. How'd you know how tall I was? Pretty easy calculation, using the size of the standard American door frame in the aluminum can you're holding. You're a freak, dude. I'm not the one who looks like they cry themselves to sleep. <laughs> you better watch it, Quinn. The next person that I'm taking you to meet does not take too kindly to a smart mouth. Not to alarm you, but since you made quite a poor impression with Patricia, you'll have to be quite charming to the person you're about to meet if you want to go to the school. Who am I meeting? The vice president of the PTSA board. A math teacher. Hello, Mr. McKinley. This is... Wait, what is happening? 
Tell me, Susanna, who is this boy? I literally just tried to introduce him. The name's Quinn. Quinn Alabaster. State your business, boy. Your business. What? Oh, he's a child prodigy that wants to go to the school. Child prodigy. Is that right? Well, color me impressed. You smoke cigars, Quinn? Boss? The bloodman. He's five. Susanna, darling. That's how old I was when I started. Oh, What? Quinn? What are you doing here? Who's this? My cousin Quinn. I'm gonna go to school here. What? Quinn! Don't go running off like that! Principal Triber, what's going on? Why is my cousin here? It appears as though your cousin is a genius and maybe attending this school. I got all the brains in Kennedy, didn't. Now I know why your mom always makes me babysit you. She doesn't want to deal with you. That's the same reason why your dad left, isn't it? You little sh- huh, Kennedy, don't do anything that would get you expelled! Don't worry, Principal Schreiber. Kennedy's IQ is below 70. If she tried to hit me, she'd probably miss. Quinn, let's go back to my office. Right now. We have to have Louise get you an appointment with the PTSA board. Okay. Bye, Kennedy! If this kid does not start watching his mouth, I'm going to have to have Child Protective Services on speed dial. Who's you, kid? Quinn. Are you the assistant principal? Vice principal. And yes, how can I help you? I need an appointment to meet with the PTSA board. Why do you want to meet with the PTSA board? I'm gonna go to school here. Aren't you a little young to go to a high school? Aren't you a bit too old to not be minding your own business? Hi, Louise. Have you met Quinn? Unfortunately. I want him to meet with the PTSA board tomorrow as a monthly meeting. Is nobody gonna tell me what's going on? Believe it or not, we have a child prodigy on our hands. This kid? Hmm? Yeah. This kid. Does Patricia know about this kid yet? Hmm. She's well aware. You think she'll let him go here? Well, he pointed out her Botox and said that she had crazy eyes, so she might be a bit biased. Well, here and there, he's got my vote. Louise, please don't encourage that kind of behavior. We've all wanted to say it, haven't we, Principal Schreiber? No comment. Guten Abend. Today on the agenda, we have to discuss... Please stop poking me. Sorry. Anyways, we're discussing this child prodigy. Would you like to say a couple words, boy? Yes, I would. All right. Go ahead. I just did. How do we even know that this child is a genius? We will test him using aptitude tests. Let me give him the test. The McKinley, a math major, couldn't pass your exams, let alone a five-year-old. Done. But Quinn, you weren't supposed to take that yet. Then why'd you leave it where my little hands could grab it? Let me see that. Well, holy smokes. I've never had someone score a hundred on one of these before. Easy poisy. Make it harder next time. Please don't listen to him, McKinley. I don't want any more of your students crying in my office. Now oh, all he needs is Patricia's approval. Oh, you've gone and said her name. Did somebody say my name? Let the fun begin. Sorry I'm late. I had to go knock some sense into the theater director. I feel like the room just got ten degrees colder. Good to see you, Louise. I hope the Wicked Witch of Harris View High was able to find a close parking spot for her broomstick. Louise, please! Hi again, mean old Botox lady. Hi again, small little gremlin boy. Mr. McKinley has already given Queen an aptitude test and he has passed with flying colors. One little aptitude test? Well, I have plenty more where that came from. And if you even want a chance, Quinn, at being in our school, you're going to complete every single one of them! <laughs> Wait, where'd they go? I finished them all when you were doing your super weird supervillain rant. That's... that's not possible! Well, you were gloating for a really long time, so... This can't be real! It's as real as your need for a therapist. You know what? It will come down to a vote. Wait. Who's snoring? Who drew a mustache on Thomas? Why must you even ask? Obviously it was the kid. Let's be honest, it could have been any of your goons. He's right, because it was me. Louise, stop drawing on him. The goatee was me. Sorry. Ah, oh, Liebe right. If you would both please put down your sharpies, we are going to conduct the vote now. All in favor of allowing this five-year-old to go to our school, please say aye. 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 Okay, aye. and now all those opposed, say aye. 
I. <laughs> well, Queen, according to the vote, you're in. But I'm the president of the PTSA board. Can't I veto the vote? I was the president of a high school PTSA, not the United States. My stupid secretary called off today because he claims today is some kind of special pasta holiday, so I'll be the one bringing you to your class. Are you excited? Should I be? Mm, no, seeing as this is a high school. What's my first class? I we'll have history with Mr. Lawrence. I think you'll like him. Oh, hello, Susanna. What can I do for you? Uh, hi, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, James? Principal Schreiber, why is your face all red? Oh, the clapper. It's hot in here. That's why my face is red. Some idiots must have forgotten to pay the air conditioning bill. I believe in that as much as I believe in unicorns. Your audacity is equally as unbelievable. As I was saying, Mr. Lawrence, this is Quinn. He will be a new student in your class. A four-year-old? Five-year-old? What? Are you some kind of genius? Did Maine become a state on March 15th, 1820? Uh, yeah. There's your answer. I'd like you all to meet Quinn, new student in our class. Quinn, introduce yourself. My name is Quinn, I am five, and I notice you don't have a playground. That's going to be a problem for me. This is high school, kid, where childhood goes to die. All right, I'm going to have you sit next to Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Don't talk to me. I'm here to learn, not babysit. Wait, is your last name Shittles? It's Shittles. Same difference. No, it's not. And didn't your mom teach you not to swear? She said it was okay if it was funny. Well, that wasn't funny. Tell that to Mr. Lawrence. <coughs> <coughs> yes, my name is Jenna Shidles. Why? Your mom is the PTSA president, isn't she? Yes. Why? Your mama has so much facial filler, it was kind of hard to tell you were her kid at first, but the crazy eyes gave it away. I don't have crazy eyes! Like mother, like daughter. And your cousin wasn't able to babysit, so I hired a new babysitter. Okay. Quinn, sweetie, this is Gabriel. Hello. Quinn, why don't you tell Gabriel about your first day at high school? Alright, well, I gotta go. You have fun, you too. I think your mom accidentally said, uh, high school. How was your first day of elementary school, buddy? No, she meant high school. High school? You're a kid. You probably still need help wiping your own ass. I think you're just projecting, Gabriel. If you do that, I'll tell my mom, and she's a Karen, so it won't be pretty. Wait. I ain't Celeste Chumzis? Da. Um, where'd you learn Romanian? Your mom. All right, kid, that was pretty good. Just please don't tell your mom. I won't if you buy me some V-Bucks. <laughs> Ești un pericol pentru societate. Mulțumesc. Why are you three in my office? I'm sorry, Susanna. I found Colin inspecting Quinn's arm, and I thought we might have to have a little conversation about respecting personal space. What? Colin? Why were you inspecting Quinn's arm? I have reason to believe that Quinn might be microchipped. What? I'm trying to protect our school, Principal Schreiber. No one is this smart without sinister intentions. He thinks I'm a robot. Incorrect. More like a government spy. Beep, boop, boop, bop. Colin, don't you think the government would send a spy that sticks out a little bit less? I disagree. What better spy to infiltrate us than one we're not expecting? Recalculating. Boo! Don't worry, Colin. We will watch out for any suspicious activity. Now get out of my office before I exchange your hat for a tinfoil one. I think I'm going to hire a new secretary. Why are you gonna do that? With Quinn, I have quite a handful to deal with now, and you and Thomas are less than helpful. What's that supposed to mean? The janitor told me he found five pens lodged into the ceiling tiles, and that he found gummy bears all over you and Thomas's desks. Do you know how they got there? Yeah, it must have been the office elves. Uh-huh. What, you don't believe in magic, Principal Schreiber? The magic died when we hired you two on. You're breaking my heart, Principal Schreiber. You can take that up with HR. What's HR? The fun police. Wait, Quinn, when did you get in here? I have an extra key. Where did you get that key? He got bothering me to unlock it for him, so I just gave him a key. Louise, this is supposed to be a secure room. Oh, Principal Schreiber, he's just a kid. This is why I need extra help. 
So do you have experience with kids? Um, yeah, I worked at a daycare for a few years. Perfect. This position's gonna be more office work, isn't it? You know, as an employer, I'm looking for someone with flexibility. I'm flexible. On the patience. I'm patient. On the resilience. Um, I mean, yeah. Who doesn't get headaches easily? Why would that even matter? Trust me, it's very important. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't. Wunderbar, you're hired! Oh, that was fast. Now what I'm going to have you be doing is watching a five-year-old for me. Wait, if you wanted a sitter, then why did the job description say secretary? Ah, uh, sitter, secretary, they will start with S. So when do you think you can start? As soon as possible. Who's this lady? Quinn, did you break in my office again? It's not really breaking in when you have a spare key. Remind me to take that from you later. This is our new secretary, Lucy. I'm picking up some bad vibes here. I don't know what you're talking about. You seem like the kind of person to smile at someone while you're throwing them off a cliff. Well, good thing it's all flatland around here. That is not comforting whatsoever. Quinn, she will be in charge of you because I do not trust you being by yourself around the school. Are you worried the other students will bully me? Nine, I'm more worried that you will bully the other students. But I'm only five. Yeah, a five-year-old with the mouth of a 37-year-old truck driver. I don't want to be with this lady. She's scaring me. Oh, come on, little guy. Don't be like that. If I wind up missing Principal Schreiber, you'll be so sad. Hmm. Will I? What are you doing in my kitchen, young man? I'm hiding. From what? A scary lady. What does she look like? Like if Barbie was crossed with Jack Nicholson. Well, you can't be in here. It's dangerous. The only thing dangerous about this kitchen is how expired the food is. You could take that up with the coach who lobbies all the fundings to go to his sports teams. Why don't you join the PTSA board and fight for it? I'd rather choke on a breadstick than talk to anyone that's on the PTSA board. Well, I like Principal Schreiber and she's on the PTSA board. Oh, you mean Principal Suha? Principal Suha? What does that mean? Principal stick up her ass. I like her. You wouldn't if you worked for her for ten years. Who are you anyway? I'm Quinn. Are you a student or a daycare runaway? I'm a student and a genius. Hi, genius. I'm Mildred, an idiot. Why do you say that? Well, because I chose to work at this school. I smell a runaway. Come out, come out wherever you are. You can't hide forever. Who's out there? The wannabe sheriff of the school. Don't tell him I'm here. He's over here, Clarence. You were the chosen one. It was said you would destroy the PTSA board, not join them, bring malice to the school, not leave it in darkness. Do not lecture me, Quinn. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my cafeteria. Your cafeteria? Don't make me write you up. If you're not with me, then you are my enemy. Only a child deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. You will try. Are you two done? Quinn, you're coming with me. <sighs> Quinn? What's wrong? I'm on the run. You and me both, buddy. Please hide me. Who's on your tail? Mr. McKinley. Sorry, buddy. You're on your own. Huh? There are two things I fear in life. Crippling loneliness and Mr. McKinley. Quinn! Vobisto Quinn! Okay, maybe three things. What do I do? Aren't you supposed to be a genius? Can't you figure it out? Well, I never thought I'd be in this situation. I bet you wish you spent less time memorizing the periodic table and more time learning how to outrun the cops, don't you? Habis, learning how to outrun the cops is useful for criminals, not five-year-olds. Well, I have found it incredibly useful. Exactly. Quinn! You get in my office right now. Thomas, quick! Oh, he's already gone. Of course he is. Mm -hmm.